This is a tutorial to show you how to obtain free fonts from graphicextras.com. Now these are free uh, sampler fonts. You can find them on virtually all the pages of Graphic Extras. I'm just going to quickly go to the main font section and I'm then going to select this various set of categories. There's like cat, dog, doodles, dogs, dot, etc, etc, dots, flowers. But I'm just going to go to the cats one and you will see a free sampler over here, a little button here. All the free samplers are different on each of the pages, so just obviously go to all the different pages and download the various free samplers if you wish. Now, just going to quickly click that free sampler and it'll come up obviously with a. Now, this is on a PC, I mean, if you're using a Mac, uh, obviously it will be slightly different, obviously, you've been using Safari or Firefox, but. Uh, the same basic approach once you've saved it you can then unzip the file and then you have to install it on the mac it's to using the applications folder font book so you have to basically go to applications and then go into the font book application add font right here on the pc save as and i'm just going to put that to the desktop save and once that's done you see it over here just move that slightly out of the way. Uh, I need to expand it because it's a zip file. All the various free sampler sets on graphic extras are zip files. So expand that just by double clicking it. Now you see the true type font there. I'm just going to drag that over to the desktop. Get rid of that. Now to install it, you actually have to go to the start menu and then up to the control panel and fonts and once you've done that you've got all the various fonts you've already installed and basically just drag the true type font into the this control panel fonts i'm not going to do it now because it actually comes up with the permissions ask requiring me to enter various details so i'm just going to do that but i've actually done this, that earlier so i'm just going to bring up the uh, cat design let's quickly go down and there you, are. you see the font the graphic sampler in there now to actually use it in an application just obviously start up the application and then go to the dialog the type dialog or whatever i mean it, they obviously vary from application to application so if i went into illustrator or photoshop um, i'll show which i will do now just quickly go start up photoshop quickly run through it and you've got the things so just quickly create a new document just a bit bigger than that 400 400 click OK and then obviously ugh, always comes up with those sort of things then obviously select the type tool and you'll see the cats sampler there and obviously then just go to the keyboard so just now i've got the type see so i can just type in a b very small obviously because that's the size at the moment 23 so 72 or 200 and you've actually got uh, different designs so you basically can go through it all just say type c D, E, F, I, and so on and so on. Various characters, obviously different designs for each of the characters. So basically you can go for A, B, C, D, E, F, etc. As well as lowercase A, B, C, D, E, F. And you'll see various different characters. Now obviously if you want to change the colour, do the various, set the colour here. So you can say set it to purple so you can of course also if you wish turn it into a custom shape just go to layer type convert to shape which I must admit I always find it slightly easier to manipulate the design once it's an actual type right that's the basic use of the fonts 
uh, font samplers from uh, Graphic Extras, but as I say, you can find many, many font sampler files on Graphic Extras, as well as obviously many about now, uh, additional uh, font sets with many, many different uh, character designs which can be used in Photoshop and applications.